dear students now we will come to the time dependent part of schrodinger equation we are already done with time independent part and that is del square psi by 2m by h cross square e minus v psi is equal to 0 if the particle is a free particle that is whose potential energy is zero and whose energy is wholly kinetic the energy this equation gets modified as del square psi plus 2m by h cross square e psi is equal to zero where you have to remember that this energy term is wholly kinetic and not potential now we will come to time dependent part of schrodinger equation the time dependent form of Schrodinger equation. Again, we will begin with the wave function psi of rt is equal to psi naught of r e to the power minus iota omega t. So, let us differentiate it once with respect to time. Dou psi by dou t is equal to psi naught of r e to the power minus iota omega t and then this minus iota omega term will come out. For this omega again we will substitute 2 pi nu as we have done previously while deriving the time independent form of Schrodinger equation right. So for this nu we had we had made another the substitution of u by lambda here we will put it as this e is equal to h nu and nu is equal to e by h. So let us put that here dou psi by dou t is equal to minus iota for omega we can write 2 pi and for nu we can write e by h and for this whole I can choose to write psi of rt now let us multiply and divide this equation by iota so this is iota by iota into iota 2 pi e by h psi of rt so iota square is minus 1 then it is plus 1 I will take this iota here so it is iota dou psi by dou t and this term here I hope you recognize that h by 2 pi is h cross so is e by h cross psi of rt so, I h cross dou psi by dou t is equal to e psi is our equation, right? Now, for this e psi, we will put to substitute it here in the time independent form. So, del square psi plus 2m by h cross square for e will write I h cross dou psi by dou t minus v psi is equal to 0. If you are okay with that, then we will drop first few equations and we will write del square psi is equal to minus 2m by h cross square i h cross dou psi by dou t minus v psi so i have taken this factor to the right side now we can choose to write it this way h cross square del square psi by 2m and that to minus times and then let us bring this v psi term on the left it becomes plus on the right we have i h cross dou psi by dou t So we are done with it h cross square del square by 2m plus v of psi is equal to i h cross dou by dou t of psi. So this is the total energy term. I hope you recognize that this goes for potential term and this goes for the kinetic term. So kinetic energy operator is kinetic energy is denoted by t so t operator for kinetic energy is 
minus h cross square del square by 2m. Potential energy operator is V itself and energy operator is IH cross dou by dou T. Now if you find to want to find the operator for momentum term, you can write it as since E is equal to P square by 2M, we can write H cross square del square by 2m that 2 minus times is equal to p square by 2m 2m and 2m will go so what is the operator for p it is h cross by i del similarly the operator for velocity vop can be evaluated from p equal to mv that means V is equal to P by M. So V operators, velocity operators are written as H cross. We have to simply divide this expression by M. For position, the operators are written as such. X operator is equal to X, Y, Z or R. That's all.